Okay, so we're getting to the end of today's session. Let's hit some drives away. That was absolutely smoked straight. Okay, let's talk about strike with driver. And we're gonna test and show you if you hit it on the extremes of this club face, so massively out the heel and massively out the toe, what effects this has on your ball flight, okay? By the end of today's video, you're gonna understand how you can hit it straighter by hitting it out the middle. Let's now get on to striking this one out the toe. So what you'll see here is, for a right-handed golfer, a lot more right to left moon on the golf ball, reduced distance and reduced spin. By the way, what better place to take full advantage of testing this than down at the beaches. I love it down here. I've got my phone linked up on Trackman, showing you the effects this has. Okay, so I'm gonna dress it out the toe. I'm gonna try and hit it out the toe. Okay, real lower ball flight, a lot more right to left movement and a real reduced distance. Okay, only 230 compared to the 270 before. I sound like I hit it quite a long way. <laughs> but before we move into this now, how many of you have thought about this before and have misdiagnosed bad shots, right? When actually it's just a bad strike. You could actually go down an absolute pitfall of mechanical changes when you just gotta get more into your strike. Okay, so what happens? So on a driver club face, there is some face bulge and roll. So when you catch it out the toe, this causes the club face to kick back like this. Now the ball will work in the opposite direction. So use this line on the golf ball. You strike it out the toe, the head kicks back, the ball will move with this right to left spin on it as if I'm hitting it towards you. The ball and the club face work like cogs and gears in the opposite direction. So you strike it out the toe, it's gonna to come out with less ball speed, it's gonna come out with less spin, lower flight, and tend to move a lot more right to left. Out the toe, head moves back, ball moves in this direction, okay? Let's now test that heel, and <laughs> guilty as charged. I hit it out the heel so many times, and it's just not nice. Slicey, weak, horrible ball flight. Let's talk about this a little bit more. So I'm gonna link this back up on here now, and pay close attention to the side of the screen, you're gonna see the ball flight. So I'm gonna address this one out the heel, and let's see what happens. Here we go. And by the way, right at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a simple drill to help train a centre strike more often. Okay, heel time. <laughs> that was terrible. Look at the screen now, how it had loads more left to right curve on it. So, what is happening there? I mean, that is just terrible. I'm gonna wipe that off. I don't want that on my club face. So reduce distance yet again, and a lot more curve left to right. So as I said before, the extremes of this club face, you strike it on them, it causes the face to move. Now hitting it out the heel will cause the club to kick in like this, and the heel of the club to move back, causing the ball to curve like this. As I said before, one moves one way, creates the spin the opposite on the golf ball, meaning the ball in this case is gonna move with some considerable left to right curvature, tend to have more spin, creating a weaker ball flight, okay, with driver. Real, real weak point of the club face here. So, nice and simply summarizing this, you strike it out the toe, it's gonna move more right to left for a right hander, out the heel, move more left to right. And the simple bit of this is, it's called the gear effect. Because there's a bigger face and the center gravity is lower and further back on a driver, we have a gear effect. Now it can actually, if you get it just off, it can actually save you and make the driver more forgiving. But essentially, the extremes will cause extremely bad shots. Okay, let's finish off with a simple drill to help 
train a centered strike, not a massively heeled one or massively toe-sided one. I've just put some gates down here, just big enough for my driver to sit in. Now the idea is, if you avoid the T-Pex, we strike it out the middle, we start training a more centered hit. As I sort of alluded to earlier, you can start misdiagnosing big slices or big hooks with actual mechanical changes. And actually, it could have just been a little bit of a, a misstrike. So train that centered strike, address it more out the middle, and well, all you're gonna do is make sure you take out the middle peg, not the side ones. Just like that, we are happy with that. There's no better feeling than ripping one straight out that middle. Let's have a look at that. 277, 302, I am over the moon with that one. Thanks for joining me on my rain session now at the beaches. I'm gonna do a bit of short game practice now to finish me off. Thanks for watching.